Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve the given radical equation. Now, the traditional way of solving such equations is to isolate one radical on one side of the equation, then to square both sides of the equation and to continue doing this until there are no radicals left. But this can lead to some problems. It can lead to arithmetic problems. But then, most importantly, in doing that, we run the risk of generating extraneous roots. These are roots that satisfy the equation we get from squaring both sides of the equation, but do not satisfy the original equation. So today I am going to show you an alternative way of solving such problems. In fact, an easier way of solving such problems. This involves substitution. So what we are going to do is let this be equal to u and let this be equal to v. Now with these two substitutions, you can easily see that the original equation becomes u minus v is equal to 1. Then we have that u is equal to the square root of 3x plus 7. When we square both sides of this equation, we have that u squared is equal to 3x plus 7. And v is equal to the square root of x plus 2. Once more, when we square both sides of this equation, we have that v squared is equal to x plus 2. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to eliminate x from these two equations. Of course, you can see that to do that, we have to multiply through this second equation by 3. So doing that, we have that 3v squared is equal to 3x plus 6. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to subtract this second equation from the first equation. When we do that, we have u squared minus 3v squared is equal to, here we have 3x minus 3x, of course that is equal to 0. And we have 7 minus 6, that is equal to 1. Now you can see that we have a system of equations which we can very easily solve. Now, of course, you know that we can solve this system of equations by substitution, because from this first equation, we have that u is equal to one plus v. So let us substitute one plus v for u in this second equation. When we do that, we have one plus v squared minus 3v squared is equal to 1. Opening this bracket, we have 1 squared plus 2 times 1 times v, that is 2v, plus v squared minus 3v squared is equal to 1. Rearranging this equation, we have 1 minus 1 plus 2v and v squared minus 3v squared is going to give us minus 2v squared and everything is equal to 0. Now, of course, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So we are left with 2v minus 2v squared is equal to 0. Now, we can factorize this equation because we have a common factor which is 2v. So, isolating 2v, we have 2v into 2v divided by 2v is 1. Minus 2v squared divided by 2v is minus v. And this is equal to 0. And of course, you know that this statement simply means that either 2v is equal to 0 or 1 minus v is equal to 0. From here, we have that v is equal to 0 or 1 is equal to v. But of course, you remember that 
this is v so we have that either the square root of x plus 2 is equal to 0 or the square root of x plus 2 is equal to 1 and of course when we square both sides of this equation we have that x plus 2 is equal to 0 and we have that x is equal to minus 2 and when we square both sides of this equation we have that x plus 2 is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 1. So we have that the two values of x that satisfy this radical equation are x equal to minus 2 and x equal to minus 1. Now you can easily verify this. When x is equal to minus 2, we have 3 times minus 2, that is minus 6. And 7 minus 6 is 1. And the square root of 1 is 1. Minus. X is still equal to minus 2. We have minus 2 plus 2. That is 0. The square root of 0 is 0. So we have 1 minus 0, which is equal to 1. And in the second case, when X is equal to minus 1, here we have 3 times minus 1. That is going to be minus 3. You have minus 3 plus 7 that is equal to 4 and the square root of 4 is equal to 2 so you have 2 minus x is still equal to minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 the square root of 1 is 1 so we have 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 and with that we come to the end of today's exercise i hope you learned something new if you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.